Hi Scorpio, this is your weekly day by day. Tarot cards reading by Emma for the week beginning on Monday, 11th of November. So Monday, 11th November, with Five of Cups. Five of Cups says you were remembering something from your past. Always memories from your past. But say it one, some offense, some disappointment, something you've been through, something which failed. Your attempt to have relationship and failed. Your attempt to do some business failed. Something which you remember. It failed, it couldn't work for you because of other people or a fail because you made some mistake. But failures, okay, present here very much. And, but it, it's in your memory that it's past, okay? You are remembering that. It's important also with this energy besides being, uh, being sad and disappointed about your past, about situations from your past, people from your past. Important is that you do have something right now, something which is a beginning. You are not concentrated on it, okay? This is very lovely, very harmonious, something balanced, something very promising beginning, okay? Um, but you are not uh, looking at it at all. You are concentrated on that what was. Now, um, perhaps very soon you will uh, turn around and see what is in front of you, what you can uh, do, what is new opportunity for you. You see what I'm saying? But right now, today you are a bit sad. Maybe you're just bringing up um, something just because you are in the bad mood. Could very well be something like that because this is a happy day. Definitely two swords says you don't have a way out. Like you don't have a visibility. Like you don't know what to do with yourself. Everything, whatever you thought, failed. I mean, it, it's a bit pathetic, this Five of Cups, I'm telling you. And today it seems you adopted that side of this energy, okay? A bit pathetic, overreacting, like you've got something which was wrong, something which offended you, something which failed, but then you exaggerating and you are adding, you adding to it and you are ignoring whatever else that's good around, you are ignoring it. In that sense, you just don't want to see, okay, there is something good. Maybe good, maybe lovely relationship, maybe lovely opportunity for business, for career, for something. I mean, there is a something, definitely. But you do not want to see it today. A bit, as I said, a bit, <laughs> but um, I think you um, uh, are kind of feeling sorry for yourself, Scorpio. For some reason, this is really pathetic energy today. I don't know what is it. You're not, not so Scorpio-like, but yeah, that's that's Monday, okay? You don't want to see what is good. You do have something good, of course. You don't want to see it. You are so concentrated on that which is bad, which was offended, bad people, <laughs> you know. Nothing works for you. Nothing ever. You know, you just don't want to see any good. Okay, today you don't want to see it. And you're bringing up whatever that you can remember that offended you. Who said, who said something ugly? Who did something ugly? It's a day to remember bad things in your life. To feel sorry for yourself. I don't know, for whatever reason. But that's your Monday. Tuesday with the Three of Cups, better, okay? Now, Three of Cups, these are your, your people, okay? Your best friends, your siblings, okay? These are people you trust, and they love you, and they will be with you. Often these people are celebrating something with you. They will come over, bring some beers, okay? Let's talk, let's tell some jokes, let's in, have good times, okay? In that sense, Three Cups are your friends, might talk some celebration. I think it's going to be your friends. Um, because you were with the moon energy. You still don't know what to do. You still don't know how to react, how to change yourself. You're still in this somber mood. Okay, there is a moon and it's moody. Moon doesn't trust, doesn't have a visibility. You don't have a visibility. You don't want to see with the moon. You don't want to see. Everything is suspicious. These people, or what are they laughing about? They are making mockery of your life, which is a sad life. 
I'm telling you, I am making mockery of these energies because I think it's really overboard with something which was difficult, bad, offensive or so. Again, on this day in a very similar mood. But it's better that you have people around kind of celebrating, kind of being jolly, kind of drinking, kind of telling you, have a drink. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Look, Three of Cups often celebrates something which will happen. Okay, now, could very well be that this energy now on Tuesday, some people out there, okay, your best friends, will call you about this new, this new relationship, this new something which is happening in your life, this new something harmonious and balanced. You see what I'm saying? Even though you don't want to see it, even though you don't want to even talk about that, you were uh, intentionally ignoring it, these people will perhaps bring it up. Yes, but you do have something. You do have us. We love you. You do have something new which begins, okay? And it's nice and it's balanced and it's harmonious and it's lovely. You see what I'm saying? There is something, okay, emotional. People are bringing it up. Often Three of Cups is overly emotional, overly happy. Hibib hooray. Maybe they are trying to cheer you up just because you were moody. But definitely you are moody on this day with reason or without but you will have people trying to cheer you up so this is Tuesday Wednesday with eight of cups <laughs> so you're really in a bad mood this week at least the beginning of this week you will decide to leave behind something which simply cannot satisfy you, can make you happy, cannot bring that what you really want out of your life, out of the relationship, out of the business, out of yourself. You have decided you're going to just abandon it, you're going to leave it, you're going to move on. Simply move on, resign from that job. You're never going to get decent salary, conditions, working conditions, or horrible, you see what I'm saying? Or it doesn't need to be that, I'm just giving you an example, okay? But you were deciding to leave it behind because it doesn't have it all, it doesn't have that what you want for yourself, something which will satisfy you, which will bring pleasure, which will, which will bring happiness in your life. You see what I'm saying? Cup is missing cup which is supposed to bring your wish, your happiness, emotional fulfillment, that will never happen there where you were, okay? So you were leaving it behind, even if it's just a bank. Hermit, you know that you were having a long road in front of yourself and you know it's not going to be easy. The hermit energy is not easy energy. It is wisdom, of course, represents wisdom. And you will be wise, but you will go through difficulties. It is difficult road in front of you, and it seems to me you were aware of it. You were aware that you were all by yourself. And circumstances around you are not favorable. You don't have that what you used to have. Okay, eight cups are standing behind this person. It says there was something you did have something. Now, leaving it behind, you get yourself in the very unfavorable position. Now, you have nothing and you're supposed to go for something. So, you do have difficult circumstances around you and you're supposed to go all by yourself towards something better. At this point, perhaps you don't even know what. Okay, for you right now is to, you see, to carry this little unturn, okay, some hopes, some dreams, to carry on, to deal with whatever difficulties, to try to gain some wisdom out of this unfortunate situation and to find your way, to find that what you really want for yourself, which will fulfill your wish, which will make you happy. You see what I'm saying? But you don't have it here and you are going to find it. You know that you are dealing with difficulties, with difficult circumstances, with difficult situation, and you know you all by yourself and you have to go through. In that sense, kind of tough this week for you, Scorpio. Hmm? Now that's your Wednesday. Now Thursday with a Six of Pentacles, something better. Okay, Six of Pentacles is a resolution. I think somebody will help you. Somebody is there to stand by you, to give you that what you are desperate for. Okay, what you are desperate for here, for some advice, for some wisdom, for some... 
guidance maybe okay somebody will give it to you for some money um, some I don't know some supports whatever support you've got it here six of pentacles is a resolution maybe some person okay often with, with six of pentacles we do have person somebody who will come and help you and do something for you you are in a need of and this person will help you just because can help you and you are in a need of it desperate for you've got somebody to help you anyhow from some person or a simple situation is working for you now but a resolution is there out there visible present you've got solution for yourself yeah good Finally, some good day. I thought I was kind of making mockery out of this sorry yes, on Monday, but uh, it, it seems there was really something difficult. You couldn't stand something any longer. It kind of, you felt it's breaking you apart. And um, there you were on Thursday. Things are working for you. Finally, finally, some good day. And this day brings a solution. This day brings something for your future. There is Empress. Empress, you do have it in yourself. Finally, you feel good about yourself. Finally, you have enough money. Because the Empress is, is all Venus. Could be money, okay? Could be your home. Could be your children. Could be your family. But you are feeling good about yourself. This is all beautiful, all lovely lovely, um, just what you needed and you were so comfortable with this solution, satisfied, comfortable and happy um, today on Thursday. Often Empress talks about a long-term future, okay, something which is supposed to give results because Empress is pregnant, something supposed to be born within, I don't know, so many months and that will be important for your um, further growth, development for your life for next maybe so and so years, for, for the whole life or so. But resolution is here and it is to your satisfaction. Cannot be better than this on Thursday. Beautiful. I love it. Love this Thursday. Friday. With the Ten of Swords, a oh, huge problem, huge problem will begin to go away. Um, the Ten of Swords says you were defeated and all the time is felt like you were defeated. You couldn't fight this anymore. Whatever that you do, whatever that you tried, it didn't work, okay? This, this battle, this something, this relationship, this business, this career, this employment, whatever that was, okay, that gave you so much trouble could never, never bring anything for you, okay? It doesn't matter your effort. It doesn't matter well, how much you try. It would never have any result for you. And that is um, Ten of Swords, you accepting that defeat. And I think you are accepting defeat because you do have solution here on Thursday. Now you can say, okay, I'm accepting it. I'm not putting any effort anymore into this. It's paining, it's disappointing, maybe even devastating, but it's over. You're not going to put effort into it anymore. That's it, Ten of Swords, done. Perhaps still paining, perhaps still paining, but it will go away. There's Emperor, there's Emperor, Empress and the Emperor. Two sides of your life, feminine side, passive side, okay? You are receiving help. There is a solution for you and you are gladly receiving it. And there is Emperor now making decision, changing life, changing situation, changing structure, complete structure in your life. You are going to change, okay? No more that what was. I don't know, could, could be any any aspect of your life, nothing really specific here. I think whatever that is, whether that is a relationship or business or career or employment, perhaps affected you completely, made your life miserable. Relationship was so horrible, made your life miserable. That employment made your life, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Your life was miserable. That's why you decided to leave it and to go for something you didn't know what exactly. Okay, um, solution, as I said, somebody helped you here. You accepted, uh, you accepted solution. That's, as I said, feminine energy, passive feminine energy. But here, oh, you are determined to change your life, to change complete structure. You will live your life 
which satisfies you, which you like. Emperor is authority and you are taking charge of your life. So you're never going to bring yourself to this situation like now, like this week, that you don't have a way out and you feel disappointed and you feel hurt and you feel defeated. You see what I'm saying? Devastating energies. Never going to happen to you again. This emperor will now take into account all these experiences, all these troubles, and will change it, will make it different. So you're never going to bring yourself in this situation again. Changing structure, taking charge of your life, feeling powerful, okay, powerful self, feeling capable of changing your life to make it suitable, to make it right for you. Beautiful. I love how this week develops now. Two of Cups. Yeah, you see these two Cups. Now they are visible. Now you are paying attention. Now there's another person. All the time this person was standing by you, your friend, your uh, partner, all the time. But you ignore that person. You ignore that love, that friendship. Nothing that could attract your attention because you were so, so drowned in your problems, in this misery. You see what I'm saying? You couldn't see anything else, anything good. And you did have perhaps relationship, perhaps friendship, something you do have. A very lovely, very balanced, harmonious, still standing. There you were on a Saturday, you and your partner. Um, still, still you are healing, maybe you are healing your relationship because you neglected your relationship, you neglected your friends, your friendship, you were maybe rude with your friends, you see what I'm saying, maybe you have to heal it now, maybe you have to heal yourself, to start from yourself, because we do have this energy, these energies within you, okay, this beautiful feminine and masculine energy working together empowering you and could very well be that on this day you were showing yourself anew. I will be different. I will live my life differently. I will love myself. I'll rely on myself. You see what I'm saying? Could be that it's just about you. But you are healing, definitely. That's what you have neglected, whether yourself, okay, or your relationship um, with, with your partner or with your friends. You are beginning healing process now. Being that you were really brought down. Now you have to heal yourself, to heal your relationship, to make it now better, to start from the beginning. From the nice, harmonious, loving, balanced beginning. And from there on. In that sense, this Saturday, it seems a meaningful week. Sure. Sunday with the two swords again. Again, secretive energy fearful energy, not seeing your way, not wanting to talk about future, not wanting to decide right now. Two swords with a page of, a page of rods. It seems that you do have something you were excited about. Page of Rhodes is sitting on the new territory, on something new. New idea, new creation. There is maybe new information which you do have, but you're not going to say it. Look at this child. Want to shout out there, people, I've got new relationship. I've got this lovely person. I've got a new job. I've got something lovely, exciting. But you don't shout. You are pressing it down, you are concealing it, you don't want to say you do have something, you are happy about that, there is page, you've got the news, but you are not announcing it, you are keeping it secret but you've got something very happy you are very excited about this new, this is new opportunity for you this is new offer, something new, you do have, this is news, you do have information about a new life, new career new something which can begin perhaps from Monday or from next month, but you're not going to say it, okay? Even though you feel, oh, you would love to shout it out, but not, not today. You will keep quiet. You were kind of afraid not to jinx it, or maybe people will, for some reason, harm you, or, um, I don't know, you were simply not going to say it for whatever reason, doesn't matter. 
um, what is the reason, but uh, I think important is this excitement, this new territory, this something new which you surely have and you can surely develop from now on. Beautiful. You will announce it when you are ready to announce it. For today, you're going to keep it secret. Interesting week for you, Scorpio. I don't know what to say. There is some positive development from Thursday. Luckily, otherwise, I was desperate. I thought I'm going to start that reading again. It's so bad. <laughs> anyway, Scorpio, I really hope that you're going to enjoy it. Um, and I will speak to you again very soon. Until then, best regards. Tarot by M.